Hey there, welcome back and thanks for joining me. All my supplies and equipment are down in the description box in an Amazon store. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button if you want to be notified. Power strip fell. When new videos come out, uh, hit that notification bell. Likes, comments, and questions are always welcomed. Let me put my desk back together. All right, here we go. We're going to do these stinking cute um, dragonfly cards. These are roughly a six by four and let's get rolling now in doing any card you're going to have to fold it right this is a perfect thing to do is put your card here now i've already got mine marked so i don't have to look through the little uh indentions of numbers and stuff and i just take it along that line and it runs through that little groove here and it puts you a score on your card where you're going to fold it really fun handy tool to have now second thing I've got this is my key instead of freehanding this every single time and I'll do about 20 of these at a time I've got a key now I have a light box that I put this on top of but if it's daylight and the sun shining I just put it up to the window nothing beats that so you can kind of see Oh, I'm not bright. Oh, no. There we go. You see? So you can see right through it. And you can hold that up against your window and sketch really lightly your dragonfly. Now, I sometimes just simply open it up to a light and draw them out. But in any case, however you want to do this, it saves you a lot of time trying not to freehand this. Now the body, I just do a bunch of loops like this and then a thing on the end. But the wings are the biggest thing and even if they're not perfect, they still work. All right. Now, I'm using my Dr. P.H. Martin's watercolor inks. I really like them. They're fun to work with. Um, I wish they had more detailed colors. Other than that, you mix your colors. Okay, so it's not a, it's not a deal breaker at all. Um, so, I'm going to use, I'll use this color on the flowers. So, what I'm going to start out doing is I've got cobalt blue. Put a drop of that down because you do not need much. That's the one thing I do like about this is you can put down just a drop. Maybe two. And that's all I need for that right there. My brush, I'm using a uh, number six. Do I want number six? Yes, I'll do a number six. Oh, so I'm going to do number six. Now, I'm going to show you here, um, other than my water, this, I'm going to flip this over after I already put that on there, but that's okay. Let's see how it does. Oh, I'm not going to test it. Here we go. <laughs> so, here's the American Journey Butcher Tray. I got it on Amazon, of course. Um, very heavy. It's porcelain. It's It means business. Um, it mixes so easy. And you can let it dry and reactivate it. So you're not ever out the colors. This is also one of my go tos is if I'm doing a lot of these and I'm doing like this flower, it of course is that one. I have that fairly full of the color I'm using and I just keep dipping and painting the same color on 20 cards all together. So I like this cause I can mix up a lot of the same color paint. All right, let's start back over because I got out of line. Now, what I'm going to do with the wings is called a wet on wet. So I'm going to wet. Now, sometimes it's really good to have this slightly tinted so you can see if you don't have lights that you can angle and see how wet it is. 
You don't want to get this where it's standing, but you want it wet enough that it glistens. And I'm going to do two of the same leaves, I mean leaves, wings. Because I want these two to be colored up somewhat alike. So I'm going to do them at the same time. And that way I'm not dipping and back and forth in the color. Yeah, that's good. Now I'm going to dip in, I think this is my blue. I'm going to dip in here. And I'm just kind of going to touch it in. And you're going to let it run however it wants to. And I'm going to put in some dark color right there. This is something really fun to play with is adding different degrees of watered down paint versus straight paint it will all spread differently and there i'm helping it along because i want it a little bit farther down good while normally yes that drives me bonkers because I want it to be I want it to be a certain way. So yes, I'm I'm having a small situation right now because I want to make that just perfect. But I've learned in alcohol inks and watercolor both. You may not get that. Okay. So now I'm getting pure color, and this is what's fun about this liquid watercolor ink is that you can do the pure now apparently I've dried a little bit so I'll tell you how I'm going to fix that I'm going to just wet this where I'm not committed and then just let it touch up here Okay, I'm going to assume the other side is like that also, but looking against the light, just that corner. So I should be okay on it. Also, sometimes that second color, this has already pushed it. So the second color, you may have to just help along there. And if you really have to help it, then go ahead and help it. It will move, so I'm not, but I am bothered, but <laughs> I'm not bothered because that's going to move. It's going to do its thing. Okay. Next one. Now I'm going a little fast. I don't want to have you sit and watch a really long video. So I can either do the same or I can add some pink to it like that. Would that be fun? I think that'd be fun. Let's do that. Glycerin crimson or, hold on, pink red. Let's do this. Magenta. Well, magenta wins. And I want to do, I'll do the blue again. Okay.
And I'm telling you, depending on your paper, how wet you get it, this is interesting, to say the least. That's a little wet, so I'm going to pull it up a little bit. I'm going to put a little more concentration down here. Now, and look how that's doing. And the part that drives me the craziest, but also I like the best, is that I'm not controlling this. It's just kind of doing its thing. Okay, there's those colors. I should be pretty done with that. All right, we're going to let that dry. We're going to go to our flower. So... Where is the deep red? Now, on other things that I've done, I'll be real honest, I'm not fond of a bright red, so I uh, come in here with a little bit of the burnt sienna and I'm going to just mix ever so little bit with it to more to just tone it down something like that I end up using it all okay now I'm going to make a really light wash of it over here brown, a lot of brown, there, that's a better color, okay, now I've got a number six, and hang with me, this is what I'm going to do, here's the center of my card, I want my center my flower here so I'm going to kind of just give me a base not anything special not anything exact Now, I'm going to do also the back of the card. Just so when people open it, it's kind of fun. There. So, that's that one. Doesn't look like much right now. Get the center right here. Now, this is mainly going to get covered up. So... I do better when I paint like I don't care. I'm a little more freer and I'm I don't I'm not as exact. Okay, so that is drying. So let's do leaves. Now I'm gonna have to add 
some brown to this green. I'm not a fan of this bright green. See how bright it is? Ooh. I'm going to come up here and grab brown. See? It's a little bit not as lime green. Now, this is going to be my lightest one, just this circle I'm doing right here. And let's put one, let's put one in here. Now you can map these out ahead of time if you want. I just typically don't. And I'm going to tell you, I usually probably do that with a, I'm struggling with a six. So I'll probably use my eight. Okay. Now let's do the body. The body I like to do kind of uh, green and black. So let me put a dot of my black down. And I wonder, this is a, Thalo green, don't want that. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, I'm going to do one side with the green and then just hit dark on the other side, but I'm going to go ahead and wet these just a little, not, not a whole lot, and then go through and hit them like this, all on just this side. You can make this as detailed as you want. I do not want to make it detailed. I want whimsical. I want fun. And it's a quick card. You know, it's nothing that you have to kind of struggle with. I know that looks harsh, but it just kind of makes it look like the light's shining on them. Now I go back, and I'm kind of going to blur up these lines a little bit. I'm putting more of this in there, so it'll kind of mess with that dark. And play with it. Play with it till you like it. All right. Now let's go back to. We're done with the wings except for the markings. So let's go back to the flower. So we want to add a little bit more dark to this. You know what? I am going to swap to my eight. 
Less strokes for me is better. Now I do about a third of it a little darker. I'll leave a little bit of this corner and then go in and fill in whatever I'm wanting to fill in. did that so I need to change and I still go to the left with my dark and then I do my green Now, just the fact that I'm putting green on top of green, it's going to be darker, even if I put that exact color. Now, I don't want this to puddle, so I'm going to pull that up a little bit. Let me put some more green down. And the brown. Nice. Okay. Now I'm going to do maybe half of the previous green. So another third see the dimension starting to happen Okay, normally <laughs> when I do cards, heat it up, it bows a little bit. Um, I'm doing a number of these. So by the time I would have gotten back to this one, I've already done 20. So I don't dry, I have to dry it in between, but for this, I am. Okay, so this is my final mark. Now this is pretty dark. This is like straight paint. This is my darkest dark. So there's four darks in all this, or four shades, not darks, shades. Now 
And if you don't like swapping sides on this, don't make it all one side. In fact, this one I didn't. This one I did it on the left. And this way, if I do the green on all of them, I stay with the green until all the green's done. I'm not having to rinse my brush a hundred times. Make sure I got the right one. Okay. Now I've got one more to do of this. Of this shade. And then I'm going to do the really, really dark. And if you really want to, some black on the very last color. That's very striking. There you go. I added some black into that. That's pretty. Okay. Now, look at the difference that makes. All right, so here's here's what we do with this. So I need a yellow. So I'm using this combage, and it's a golden yellow. It's not a lemon yellow. You can do a lemon yellow and then do this one too, which is I think what I'm gonna do. No, yes, yes. And if I want it more contrasting, I'll do an orange on top of that. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to blob. No solidness. There. Okay, now I'm going to take this more golden yellow. I 
we'll take that. And I'm just going to blotch it. And yes, I think I will do a little bit darker. So I'm going to do the orange. only thing I might do a little different is actually go in with some black just to really pop out some of that. And I've dropped down to my number six. Very little. I could take that or leave it. I'm just seeing what it looked like. I think I'd leave it. I don't like it. I may cover it back up. You tell that that just just pops it out a little bit okay yeah let me do that orange I want to cover that back up I don't like that Or try to cover it up. Yeah, I'm not going to. Okay, never mind. All right. The very last thing I'll do is splatter. So let's, let's do some ink work. Now, you could leave it like that, and it's fun. Let's play. No, yes, no. All right. This is the Arteza Inconic. So, again, back up from the it. You do this, you're going to want to detail it. You want to get exact. Back up off of it and give yourself permission to have a little fun. So, I'm going to do one of these back here. These are not on the page, so there's the card right there. I'm going to do one of these. So if I don't like it, I can adjust it before I get to the front of the card. On the other hand, though, if somebody wants to frame this, now this will be blank. You could put some message or something here. But there's your card. But they can do a lot with that. So I'm going to start just kind of this. Just something. Just play. You can get different looks. You can do it smooth. I mean, you could do it like that if you wanted. I like movement. And this is where you just do whatever you want. It is yours to do that. And you can see how your flower has changed. And I like to put some extra stuff down here like that. Again, 
Nothing's written in stone. Do what you want. Now, here comes the fun part. These, you, I, I don't do this on. I am exact with it, sort of, except for I don't have one continuous mark. I kind of do this so it will be outlined, but not perfect. I like the looseness of this. And for those of you that have trouble with being loose, uh, this is stuff I have to do to not be tight with things. And then you can go back over it like that a couple times. So whichever. I like the squiggly. Now, I make a series of just kind of droopies like that. And then I'll do another one like that. And then I'll come in here like this. And then I do more straight ones for the wings, the bottom of the wings. However you do this is how everybody's going to assume that's exactly what you wanted to do. That's how it's supposed to be. How you present your art, they will accept that. Now here's these. That wasn't too scary, was it? Now, I want to do some splatters, and I want to do kind of the reddish color, so I'm going to put a lot of water down here with that. done. There we go. So that is it. Look at that. Look how cute. Let me get it dried. All right. So this is our card. Now, before I package it up like this, I'm going to take Kmart varnish. It's what I use in my watercolor. It's what I use in my alcohol inks. It will not run the colors. It'll just kind of seal them into the paper and you'll be done. So give it a shot of this. Let it dry. Like the next day, I will put my envelope with it and I will package it in my cello bags and put my little hook on it. And I'm ready to go sell these things. So there's our card. And there it is. Now, how cute is that? But if they want it, they can set it open like this. Some people do. All right. Thanks for joining me, and y'all go have fun.